Welcome back everybody. This is Glockman4519 or Dave Hayes. I don't know why I say Glockman4519 anymore. Um, and welcome back uh, to another ROM overview on uh, Hayes Tech ROM reviews. Uh, this time we are going to be reviewing Tesla. Uh, this uh, uh, Tesla actually Tesla has been released for quite a few different devices uh, in the last I would say week. Um, and I was quite surprised when I was scrolling through uh, their uh, Google Plus community uh, to find out that they actually had a build out for the Nexus 9 uh, or Flounder, if you guys um, are wondering. Um, and as soon as I saw it, uh, thinking, you know, this is the only um, quote custom uh, ROM out that, uh, you know, that's built for Android 7.0, uh, I had to flash it and try it. Uh, and I'm sure that a lot of you guys out there that are running um, uh, with this tablet, uh, you know, w w you guys are going to want to try this out because, uh, again, I'm having no problems with this at all. Uh, Tesla's running great. Uh, one thing I love about it is the uh, Substratum version in it. Uh, it's actually running uh, with the uh, Masquerade. So that means uh, no reboots. Um, you don't just get uh, the legacy mode. Uh, so when you pick on a... Like say you pick on a theme, um, we'll go with uh, uh, Divinity. Uh, actually, when uh, when it opens up, you're going to see that you have all of the categories that we were used to uh, having before. Your boot animations, your font packs, your sound packs. Uh, not only that, uh, there are a lot of other um, OMS uh, themes out there that allow you to, uh, uh, to load just, say, uh, font packs or... Um, you know, even boot animations for that matter. Uh, so it's, it's just great that we have another ROM uh, that's built uh, Android 7.0 uh, that has uh, Masquerade uh, built right in. And I know there are the arguments uh, for and against it uh, right now, but to be honest with you, you guys know me, um, I like uh, more of the CMTE type theme and Masquerade brings a lot of that to it uh, by giving us the choices to go with um, the you know the uh, the animate or the uh, font packs and the boot animations and you know all the other stuff so uh, that's just awesome that it's uh, doing that um, I am going with the uh, neon colors theme uh, on on this presentation or on this overview just because that's the theme that I like it's one of my favorites uh, that divinity um, uh, I really like broken's OMS it's just too bad uh, that uh, you know. Android 7 doesn't have headers uh, yet. Hopefully, they will. Uh, we'll get that sooner. You know, sooner or later. Uh, that's that's what my hope is. Um, then you know, I, I can start using uh, Broken OMS, which is another <laughs> awesome uh, header pack uh, type thing. And then they have some status bar uh, changes that you can make and uh, nav bar stuff that you can go with. Uh, so it's it's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to about phone or about tablet. Let you guys see uh, this is Tesla N. Uh, it's for the Nexus 9, Android version 7.0. Um, it's got the uh, uh, October 5th um, security patches. Uh, I am running with the supplied kernel. Um, or no, I'm running, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm running Elemental X. Uh, I was thinking of uh, uh, the review I just did uh, on Nexus 6. Uh, which was CR Droid, and here I just found out that uh, YouTube cut my video short, <laughs> so I'm going to have to redo that one. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to get back to this. Um, I'm running the uh, Elemental X kernel um, just because I'm not so sure about whether or not the kernel force encrypts or anything like that. Uh, I'm just playing it safe for now. Uh, N is really new. Uh, I want to give it time for uh, you know these ROMs to get out. Uh, do what they need to do uh, because this is still beta guys uh, and when it gets into its final releases or official releases type deal uh, when it gets out of beta uh, then we know whether or not we're going to have a, a true force encrypting or anything like that um, but uh, you know I always tell you guys uh, you know double check you got to read the OP read the thread <laughs> go through and read the first couple pages at least and the last couple pages at least I read the whole thread, or try to, unless it's a thousand page thread, and then it's kind of impossible to do, but, um, all right, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, I'm just going to go right up uh, into the Tesla coil settings. Uh, first up is going to be your system. You have the expanded desktop, 
uh, and your power menu. Uh, so if you go to expand a desktop, that all that's going to do is that's going to give you uh, a list of your apps that you can uh, go on, you know, that you can expand, and uh, you know you can pick and choose from that what you want to go with. Uh, underneath the power or under the power menu, uh, these are the options they give you for that. Um, not you know over the top. Uh, as far as uh, options go, but enough, you know, it, it's better than just standard, uh, you know, signage and mod. Uh, again, guys, and this is uh, one of the first, if not the first release of it, so uh, it's only going to get better from here. Swipe to the right, we're going to get lock screen settings. Right now, they have none, uh, but since they have that uh, window there, I'm sure there are going to be lock screen settings. Uh, swipe to the right again for the status bar settings. Uh, that's going to bring us to the clock settings. You can go right, left, center on your clock, AM, PM, date, date style, and date format. Uh, quick settings, uh, brightness slider, uh, icon, uh, advanced data tile, layout. Now, layout's going to be what you want uh, for your number of rows. Uh, right now, I have it 3-3 three, three, uh, and columns, landscape 3. Um, the only thing that sucks about this, <laughs> nougat, I really hate this is you only get one column in landscape this is a tablet this tablet gets used 90 percent of the time at least in my case in landscape i want more than one column i hate swiping to the right i hate that but you know i i guess it is what it is and i just can't see how google thought that was an advance or that was an improvement over marshmallow i i guess that's just me uh giving a rant <laughs> Anyways, uh, moving on. I'm sure a lot of people out there like it that way, and that's good. I mean, that's why they have uh, custom ROMs, and uh, you know, Android's uh, Android's made for everybody. You know, there's something out there. I'm sure that you know everybody likes. So, if you don't like it, move on to the next ROM. Um, all right, and then we have our uh, a quick pull down, uh, and then of course tile animations, which is pretty cool. Um, I have mine set up to rotate. Uh, you guys can set it up. Uh, however you want to do it, uh, I think it was flip or none at all, uh, and then you know set up the speed, and then of course your interpolar. Uh, I'm using linear. You guys can go with anything you want or nothing at all. Um, uh, traffic indicator, uh, you guys, that's just incoming, outgoing. Um, you know uh, what kind of data you guys are pulling in or pushing out. Uh, you don't even have to show it if you don't want to, uh, and then of course uh, notifications. Um, you know, show notification count, force expanded notification, and uh, disable immersive mode messages. Um, that's going to bring us to the navigation. Uh, soft keys, I do have them enabled, although it's enabled by default anyways. Uh, so, uh, there you go. Uh, button settings, now I don't think this opened very good for me earlier. Um, and I'll, I'll get to that here. Uh, but this is where you're going to go to reorient it, uh, your rocker volume weight, uh, and then, of course, your playback control. Um, hardware keys, uh, that's the one, yeah. Uh, if you open that, it's going to force close the app. Um, so, apparently, uh, I'm guessing that it's not there, uh, and that's why it's force closing. Uh, and nav bar tuner. Uh, all this is, this is where you can actually uh, space your nav bars out if you want. Uh, you know, moving them around, physically grabbing them, pulling them uh, where you want, you know, and all that. Uh, if you want to do that, and when you're done, you click the save button. If you want to add a button to it, click the add. It's going to ask you what you want. Pick it, and then when you're done, hit save. Uh, I'm going to hit cancel because pretty much I just like to back home and recents keys. Uh, and then multitasking. Now, there's nothing there, but I'm guessing there's going to be something there or they wouldn't have the slot. That's pretty much it for the custom settings. Uh, I will show you, we'll go down quickly through the uh, normal settings that I normally do. Um, under uh, display, um, pretty much the basic uh, settings that we're all used to. Um, I don't see anything out of the ordinary on this. Uh, they do have the dashboard options again. Uh, and of course, uh, your font size, uh, which it comes stock. Um, it actually comes stock this uh, at default. Um, I wanted it a little bit bigger. Uh, it is a tablet. I like to be able to read it uh, because I do a lot of reading on my tablet, so I go with the larger size. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, then uh, your display size, you can actually pick the display size you want. I think I went with, oh, it is on default. Uh, I actually had it picked at a lower display, and I was running it there for a while, 
um, but I thought for video I would uh, put this back on default uh, and keep it there. Uh, and then uh, smallest width, I'm not sure what that is. Um, I, I clicked on it and it, 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 you can change the DPI. Um, if you guys know what that is, uh, if you uh, would please, you know, maybe post that uh, in the uh, uh, video, uh, you know, comments. Uh, I'm sure some other person, <laughs> you know, is like me, is stupid and doesn't know what it is. So, you know, we would like to know. If you know what it is, please share it with us. Um, I'm not going to mess with it. I don't want to screw my ROM up. It's running great. Uh, let's see. That brings us up to... Um, we do have lights. Uh, these are your battery and notifications. Although I did set them, uh, I didn't notice any changes in uh, anything that uh, other than uh, the way it was set uh, stock or as flashed. Uh, sound's going to be next. Uh, again, this is it. That's all you have. Uh, basic stock sound settings. Uh, this is the other, uh, under other uh, sound settings. And of course, cast is all the way, all the way at the bottom. Uh, I like to go into security, let you guys see what that looks like. Uh, make sure you have your unknown sources turned on. Am I still recording? <laughs> I want to make sure. Uh, yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, app usage all the way at the bottom. Uh, screen pinning also at the bottom. Uh, again, guys, these are all just standard settings. There's nothing uh, you know any different than anything else I've seen. Uh, it, I, I did want to show you that it does have that uh, slide out. Uh, anytime you go into a setting, instead of always hitting the back button, you, not, you can actually pull that slide out and, you know, go right to where you want to go. Uh, and the next place I was going to go was going to be the uh, developer options. Uh, let you guys see what that looks like quickly. Uh, I don't see anything that I wanted to uh, bring up under developer options. They're pretty much standard stuff. Uh, that we're all used to, although I will scroll down and let you guys see them. Uh, your animations are set at 0.5. I think that is about perfect uh, for Nougat, at least for the Nexus devices that I own. Uh, so that's what I have them set at. And that's actually, uh, that's how it comes as flashed. Um, the scrolling in the ROM uh, is great. I haven't found anything... Uh, Anything that I could really compl uh, complain about uh, in, in the ROM build itself, uh, it's very fluid. Um, it's smooth as silk. Uh, I haven't had any random reboots. Um, and so far, all the themes that I've tried on it, they're all working great. Uh, System UI Tuner. Uh, this is going to be where you can get into some status bar settings. Pick and choose what you want to show on your status bar. Uh, color and appearance is going to be your night mode. And, of course, calibrate your display. Uh, you have your do not disturb. I have mine set up that when I click on the volume keys, uh, that it, uh, um, you know, in the uh, in the pop-up logo, you, you actually have a button where you can turn on um, uh, do not disturb. Uh, nav bar. They have nav bar settings again here. Um, so now you have two places. Uh, I'm sure that's probably going to go go away uh, again, guys. This is still beta. You got to remember that. Uh, and then under other, these are going to be your power settings, uh, and, and then of course enable your split screen uh, with the swipe up gesture. And that is going to be it, uh, at least for the custom settings. Um, I don't know what else to say guys, it's running great. Uh, again, theme engine is working good. Um, I do know I tried to camera, camera's working, I didn't have any problems with that. Um, I don't know what else to say. It's running great. Uh, I highly recommend you guys give it a try, uh, especially if you like the theme engine and you like the Masquerade version to go with it. Um, you know, it's working great. Uh, quickly, I'll just show you. Uh, I'm running. Uh, I'm running neon colors, so I'll go in there quickly and I'll just disable it as soon as it opens up. I'm just gonna swipe over to the manager, uh, click on all of them. Um, actually, I'm going to toggle the top and just click on Disable Installed. Uh, click OK. And then once it goes through its thing, it'll do a System UI Restart. If it doesn't do a System UI Restart, just click on uh, System UI Restart. Let it do, it. Let it do its thing. Uh, it will disable the uh, theme for you. And then it's just a matter of throwing another one on. And uh, as you guys can see, I'm doing screen record, so uh, I can't 
reboot the phone. If I do, it's going to shut the video off. Um, and that would completely cut the video. I'd have to splice them together. And I don't do editing. So, uh, but quickly, I'll add a very, very simple theme in. Let's just go with uh, Biohazard. Something where I won't have to choose a lot of different uh, options. Uh, that was it, just building its cache quickly. Uh, I'm going to scroll over to the Overlay Manager. Uh, click on all of them. Uh, go down, make sure that the Nova Launcher is not enabled. Uh, and then I'm just going to go ahead and um, enable, build and enable. I'm going to pause this while it's building. And then we'll be back when it's done. And there you have it. Once the uh, theme is installed, it will do a system UI restart. Uh, like, like I said, guys, it doesn't uh, reboot the uh, device at all. Uh, OMS is working great. Uh, if we go into the drop down, uh, you guys can see uh, the new theme is added. Uh, settings have changed. And we are now running the uh, uh, broken theme. So uh, that's it, guys. Um, again, uh, everything's working great on it. I highly recommend you give the, uh, you know, you give this ROM a try. Um, the only thing that I can see that uh, you know, possibly that you might want to do is, again, flash a custom kernel, uh, at least for this build. Um, I know the developer was talking about uh, maybe making some tweaks to the uh, uh, supplied kernel, um, you know, to maybe speed it up a little bit, maybe get a little more snappier. Uh, I think that would probably be about the only thing that I would touch on this, uh, because as far as it goes, the rest of the ROM is great. Uh, you know, I... I I, I give this one high marks uh, for it being a custom nougat rom it's good to go uh, all right guys i just want to thank all of my subscribers i really do appreciate it um, make sure you guys hit that uh, like button uh, and i will see you on the next one